We have a parallel plate capacitor with air gap between the plates and the charge densities are uh, sigma plus and sigma minus with the uh, area A and the distance between the plates is given by D so we know that the capacitance is given by the simple expression epsilon 0 times the area of one of the plates divided by the distance between the plates so the question is what happens if we insert a metal slab in between these two plates with a thickness A so this is a metal and as soon as we put the metal inside and because of the electric field uh, between the plates this uh, metal slab will have induced charge densities on each faces facing the uh, upper plate and lower plate and the charges uh, will distribute it themselves well by the way uh, initially this slab has no net charge even we put the uh, slab in between there is still no charge the total charge is equal to zero but because of the electric field uh, there will be induced charge densities on the surfaces so the upper surface will have minus charge density and the lower surface will have plus charge density in order to uh, make the electric field inside the metal slab zero so this is needed we know that every metal has zero electric field inside so to provide this the charges must distribute it on the slab like this okay so what happens to, to the capacitance then the question is if our initial capacitance is given by this epsilon zero a divided by d then what is the capacitance of this NIF configuration of our parallel plates with uh, slab with thickness A in terms of D, A and the uh, surface area and the charge density, whatever what is the uh, capacitance? <coughs> what we can do is since the metal has a thickness A we can visualize this configuration as having two capacitors, par parallel plate capacitors which are serially connected to each other and the distance, if, if we insert the metal slab just right in the middle mid, uh, point then the thickness of these capacitances, parallel plate capacitors will be equal to D minus A divided by 2 because uh, A is the thickness of the slab and D is the total distance between the initial original plates so this is uh, the final distance between the plates d minus a divided by 2 since in this configuration we have two serially connected capacitors and we can easily express the capacitance of each capacitors by epsilon 0 a divided by d minus a divided by 2 and these c1 and c2 are equal to each other and they are serially connected so the resultant uh, capacitor between these endpoints 1 and 2 uh, can be calculated by the serial uh, addition and the resultant capacitor will be if we put these values epsilon 0 a divided by d minus a so in effect uh, what we have is if we put the, this slab of thickness a in between the plates then this is as if uh, we are uh, reconfigure uh, the parallel plate capacitor uh, everything is the same but the distance between the plates uh, is equal to d minus a so but if in this expression when you let a goes to zero then this expression will go to initial capacitance okay so if you uh, in, in decrease the thickness of this metal slab so that it is a very a thin metal sheet we recover the same capacitance that means this uh, when you look at these two capacitor configuration when you insert a very very thin metal sheet between the plates there will be no difference between the capacitance of these two configuration as long as you keep the distance of these two plates the same just you uh, uh, you insert a thin metal sheet anywhere in between making 
uh, as long as making the uh, uh, slab or metal sheet parallel to the capac uh, capacitors plates, then there will be no any difference between uh, the capacitances of each configuration. So this is a very important fact, and we will use this fact in solving problems with the capacitors having a different dielectric constants in between.